Welcome to Digit Math. Today, we're diving into subtracting two-digit numbers. We've got 10 questions lined up to help you sharpen your subtraction skills. Make sure to subscribe and give this video a like if you find it helpful. Let's get started. 86 minus 47 is... Time to think. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have six minus seven. Since it's not possible to subtract seven from six, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have eight. We take one from the tens, leaving seven in the tens column and turning the units column into 16. Now we have 16 in the units column. Subtract seven from 16, which equals nine. In the tens column, we now have seven. Subtract four from seven, which equals three. So the final result is 86 minus 47 equals to 39. 81 minus 43 is time to think. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have one minus three. Since it's not possible to subtract three from one, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have eight. We take one from the tens, leaving seven in the tens column and turning the units column into 11. Now we have 11 in the units column. Subtract three from 11, which equals eight. In the tens column, we now have seven. Subtract four from seven, which equals three. So the final result is 81 minus 43 equals 38. 82 minus 38 is time to think. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have two minus eight. Since it's not possible to subtract eight from two, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have eight. We take one from the tens, leaving seven in the tens column and turning the units column into 12. Now, we have 12 in the units column. Subtract eight from 12, which equals four. In the tens column, we now have seven. Subtract three from seven, which equals four. So the final result is 82 minus 38 equals 44. 45 minus 17 is time to think. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have five minus seven. Since five is less than seven, we need to borrow one from the tens column. In the tens column, we initially have four. After borrowing one, it becomes three and the unit becomes 15, since five plus 10 equal 15. Now subtract seven from 15, which equals eight. In the tens column, we have three. Subtract one from three, resulting in two. So the final result is 45 minus 17 equals 28. Okay. 82 minus 37 is time to think. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have two minus seven. Since it's not possible to subtract seven from two, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have eight. We take one from the tens, leaving seven in the tens column and turning the units column into 12. Now we have 12 in the units column. Subtract seven from 12, which equals five. In the tens column, we now have seven. Subtract three from seven, which equals four. So the final result is 
82 minus 37 equals 45. 53 minus 15 is time to think. 53. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have 3 minus 5. Since, since it's not possible to subtract 5 from 3, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 5. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 4 in the tens column and turning the units column into 13. Now, we have 13 in the units column. Subtract 5 from 13, which equals 8. In the tens column, we now have 4. Subtract 1 from 4, which equals 3. So the final result is 53 minus 15 equals 38. 64 minus 25 is time to think. 64 Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have four minus five. Since it's not possible to subtract 5 from 4, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 6. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 5 in the tens column, and turning the units column into 14. Now, we have 14 in the units column. Subtract 5 from 14, which equals 9. In the tens column, we now have 5. Subtract 2 from 5, which equals 3. So the final result is 64 minus 25 equals to 39. 63 minus 14 is time to think. 63. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have three minus four. Since it's not possible to subtract 4 from 3, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 6. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 5 in the tens column and turning the units column into 13. Now, we have 13 in the units column. Subtract 4 from 13, which equals 9. In the tens column, we now have 5. Subtract 1 from 5, which equals 4. So the final result is 63 minus 14 equals to 49. 74 minus 27 is time to think. 74. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have 4 minus 7. Since it's not possible to subtract 7 from 4, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 7. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 6 in the tens column and turning the units column into 14. Now, we have 14 in the units column. Subtract 7 from 14, which equals 7. In the tens column, we now have 6. Subtract 2 from 6, which equals 4. So the final result is 74 minus 27 equals 47. 36 minus 19 is time to think. 36. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have six minus nine. Since it's not possible to subtract 9 from 6, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 3. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 2 in the tens column, and turning the units column into 16. Now, we have 16 in the units column. Subtract 9 from 16, which equals 7. In the tens column, we now have 2. Subtract 1 from 2, which equals 1. So the final result is... 36 minus 19 equals to 17. Awesome work, everyone. You've just completed 10 subtraction questions with two-digit numbers.
keep practicing to get even better. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Digit Math for more fun and learning. See you in the next lesson.